Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are well. Today we're talking about going on vacation, how to stay keto, how to stay low carb, and how to not just completely fall off the wagon because it is never worth it at the end. You are gonna feel terrible. So I'm gonna give you tips on how to splurge a little bit, but not the whole time. And I think it's gonna be much more enjoyable in the end and you'll be able to get right back on track quicker. So I'm guilty of this as well. I go on vacation, I'm thinking, I'm just gonna have a few of my favorite things, and then I end up just cheating every meal, like for an entire week. Or like my mom will come to visit and you know we'll just go out to eat every night and I'll just eat things that you know aren't even my favorite things. I just decide, oh, I'm just gonna eat whatever I want. And then at the end of the week, not only do you feel terrible, but you feel bloated, you've probably gained like 10 pounds or it feels like it at least, and you're just not happy, you know, you feel discouraged and it's so hard to get back on track. You know, maybe your guest has left or you've come back home from vacation and then it takes you almost like another week to just get back in line with, you know, your meal preps and your food portions and then your workouts and all of a sudden you're sore again when you work out so you feel like you're starting over it is just not worth it. But it also is important to enjoy your trip, maybe enjoy a few things that you don't get to normally eat. Just because you're gonna have one cheat meal or one day off doesn't mean that the whole week should be off. I went to my local grocery store today just to show you guys um, some examples of what you can eat maybe on a road trip, uh, what you can pack to go to a hotel, even food that you can think about bringing in a cooler or like a lunch box with some ice pack in it. All right, so let's start talking about food. Not everything I'm gonna mention in this video is considered the healthiest option, but it's still low carb and keto and in moderation can help give you more variety and satisfaction on your vacation. A lot of companies these days are providing low carb, no sugar drinks, so there's plenty of options. Diet sodas sweetened with replacement sugars will still keep you on track. Of course, soda water is a better choice, but you can also grab some zero sugar energy drinks for long road trips from Bang, Red Bull, and Monster, just a few examples. You can also enjoy coffee and keep all these drinks in a cooler. Just make sure to check the labels on the coffee for sugar. This double shot espresso from Starbucks has three grams of sugar, which isn't terrible, but I wouldn't go any higher in sugar than that. There's unsweetened iced tea as an option. Maybe even think about bringing your own creamer for coffee at your hotel. You can even enjoy alcohol on your vacation with low carb beer options like Michelob Ultra and Corona Premier. And there's a lot of delicious hard seltzer options that are low carb as well. So we're all pretty familiar with snacks. Sometimes if we're at the gas station, you wanna grab some beef jerky or cheese or something. Just make sure to flip the label around, check that sugar. A lot of beef jerky can have a lot of sugar. I know this Duke's brand though is pretty good, so check that out. Also, same with nuts. You know, you don't wanna get a variety pack that has like dried cranberries in it or something is gonna give you extra sugar. By the way, these dill pickle cashews are delicious. You also can do pork rinds and cheese crisps. I don't usually crave sweets, but sometimes on vacation I do, especially if people around me are eating sweets. So SlimFast has a lot of keto options now and Atkins is always great. This one reminds me of a Snickers bar, this one a Reese's cup, and then peanut M&Ms. Mm. I also like to stock up on these for Halloween. Packaged snacks to me can get boring pretty quick, so think of ways that you can bring more whole foods with you. Deli cheese and meats can easily go into a cooler in the car or a lunch bag with ice packs. You can do dips. Hummus isn't the worst on carbs if you want to splurge a little. One of these is six grams net carbs, but always check other brands, like this one is only three grams net carbs. You can do guacamole, fish dips, tuna salad, egg salad, chicken salad. You can use cheese crisps to dip or my favorite chip alternative, the cucumber. You can also grab some ready-to-go salads. This strawberry one looks awesome. Yogurt can be another option for something sweeter. I like this Too Good yogurt with only two grams of sugar, and I like to put those Atkins M&Ms on top. So good. In the mood for something warm but don't want fast food, stop into a grocery store and get a rotisserie chicken or some chicken wings. If you know your hotel will have a fridge and microwave, grab things to heat up later, like these steamer bag veggies. I know when I get back to my hotel on vacations, I often want a late night snack, so having some frozen meals like these on hand can really save you from like a McDonald's binge. 
So I hope you guys got some tips about snacks and food to bring on car rides and just things that you can cook and eat in your hotel room. All right, so let's talk about working out. So what do you wanna do first is plan your trip. Think about when you're gonna be able to work out. So sometimes, you know, planning and scheduling first and then figuring out what you can do at that time is gonna be easier. Let's say you have a family member coming to stay with you. Think about what they like to do. What time do they wake up? What time do they go to bed? You know, you're gonna have to try to keep a schedule of your own and also, you know, entertain them as well. You don't wanna just be gone at the gym every day, all day. That's not nice to them either. So there's gonna be some compromise, you know, but start with figuring out a schedule and then maybe talk to that person and let them know ahead of time you know i'm gonna take an hour out of the day you know this day and that day to do a workout i hope you don't mind you know and i'm sure they are gonna be like no that's fine okay so now let's say you are getting in the car you're going on a road trip or you're flying somewhere you know what time in the morning are you getting up is that first day gonna be a super busy day so should you get a really good workout in the night before or the morning before you leave you gotta think about those little gaps in time where you can use that time wisely and get a really good workout in, just knowing that it's gonna be much harder later on. While you're away and at a hotel, a lot of hotels have little fitness centers inside, so you can use that, or you can go on a run or even a long walk. I have Beachbody on demand, so I could use that at a hotel and stream it and do a workout, but there's so many free workouts on YouTube as well. I would look up HIIT workout, H-I-I-T, HIIT workout, no equipment, and you'll be able to do a lot of that right in your hotel room. You know, it may seem a little silly at first to do this in front of people, but leading by example is a great way to get other people involved and you never know, they might just join you. So I hope you guys got a lot of tips from this video. My number one tip is just the mindset. As always, think about your goals, even during your vacation. It's okay to splurge a little, have a few cheat meals. Make sure those meals or those food items are things that you really miss. Traditional foods or meals that you get when you usually take that vacation or you know your friend or family member makes this famous meal and enjoy that, but let that be it. Don't make the excuse that I'm gonna eat these few bad meals and so I might as well just eat bad meals the entire time. Is going to help you feel your best at the end of your vacation. You are gonna feel like you still enjoyed a lot of things and you're still gonna feel good. You're not gonna feel so bloated. You're gonna be proud of yourself and you should be able to get right back into your regular routine. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.